The following episode contains strong language, new friendships and a satisfying emotional ending. We're in the last week of the shoot and I cannot believe it. Ah, oh, six years of work has just led up to this very moment and to think how positive the crew has been, it has just been such a wonderful creative experience. By this point, I just can't wait for this shit to be over. You see the finish line and then they just suck it back away from you. <laughs> oh, you're up? Oh, yeah, fine. Thanks. Just work your more time, more hours, no days off, working Saturdays. I'll grab your Leatherman. No one touches me Leatherman but me, mate. Steve is really attached to his Leatherman. Like, he takes it into the shower, he sleeps with it under his pillow. Yeah, there's quite a story behind that Leatherman. See, George Miller originally wanted to shoot Mad Max in the snow. And I just said to him, what a massive ball lake. So I proposed that we shoot it in the desert. Well, Dr. George was so impressed with that suggestion that he gave me a signed photograph of Mel Gibson that I sold to buy that Leatherman. We've nearly come to the end of a fantastic shoot. I'm really proud of everyone and the work we've done. So we're on the beach, the sun setting over the water, it's the final shot of the film. I assume the shot's beautiful, but I can't see anything because my eyes are full of these eye-wormy things. My head's starting to wobble a bit, trying to... No, it's just... A... That is a wrap on Top End Wedding. <laughs> and then Steve collapsed his face down in the sand. It was so heavy. Everyone was like, oh my God, what is happening right now? I recognise that despair anywhere. I've been there before many, many times. Oh you right? Oh. You right? Oh. Sorry, Grogan. I know what a burden my daughter can be. More hindrance than help. What? Yeah, mate, I know she would have been a ball lake to work with. Thanks for carrying her, mate. Mate, she carried me. She was unbelievable. She's an absolute gun. Dead set, mate. I... I couldn't have made it through without her. I've got this warm proud feeling in my chest. I just I haven't felt that before. It feels good not to be disappointed in it for once. Well, the apprentice has become the master. The lone wolf has adopted a cub and a maverick has found his goose. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let that goose snap her little neck by pushing the eject button with that canopy shut. I cannot believe we made it. Like, I did a thing and finished that thing. For the first time in my life, I am fanging for a beer. A wrap party is where everyone gets lit after shooting. I invited Faye to come along, and she said yes. She's a solid drinker. I'm gonna try and not go that hard, you know? Like, I'll just try and take it easy, be professional, try and have an early one. You need to take a good hard look at yourself! Your life's the best, mate! <laughs> Never go shot for shot with Razor Phaser. She's a booze hound. Hey, it's been really great. Thank you for everything. Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve? Normally I wouldn't call him uncle, but I knew how much I meant to him, so. <coughs> yeah. Bring it in. Hey, have fun on your holiday. Oh, we will. I decided to take Morg's advice to take a bit of time off. So, I'm going to hang out with my new girlfriend and travel around the NT. Oh, um, hang on a second. I've, uh, I've got something for you. You're Leatherman. Go on, you deserve it. Nah, nah, nah. No, no, no. No, I insist. <sighs> Thank you. I can't believe Steve gave me his Leatherman. Like, that thing has not left his hip in like 15 years. Go on. Go on. Thank you. It was actually really tough seeing Steve off. You know? Like, he's old and not healthy. He eats a lot of meat pies. I mean, Steve would be the first to admit that his blood is like 90% gravy. What do you think? Another drink? Hair of the dog? Oh, shit, yeah. They didn't let me take the leather onto the plane because it's a knife. I'm on a bull lake. That's 
bit of a high traffic area for us, especially this time of year. Oh, don't worry about it, buddy. It'll be fine. We'll be in and out. How big is your crew? Oh, pfft. don't even worry about it. It's a small crew. It's six plus. You won't even know we're here. Oh, oh sorry, champ. I've got to take this. Hey, Grogan, what's happening? Speak to me. Hey, Morgs, what's going on? Hi, Morgan. Oh, did you get that email I sent you? Didn't get an email. Top in wedding trailers coming out. Ask her if she wants some of our scented candles. Didn't get it. Oh, hang on a sec, I'll send it again. Send her a link to our website. Young people love scented candles. Are you coming to the premiere in Sydney? Sydney? <laughs> no chance, mate. Done with that nanny state. Oh, come on, Bum Bum. Remember what the psychic said? That we had big things on the horizon? Mm. Well, maybe she meant expanding our scented candles onto a larger market. Like Sydney. Are you making scented candles now? No, 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 mate, no, no. Look, uh, you get a couple of weeks to spare. Get your way up to Darwin here and have a bit of a break. Oh, thanks, Dave, but I'm under the pump. I'm flat out yeah, like Yeah, well, we're all busy. Just take two minutes to watch the trailer, mate. It's awesome. I'll, uh, I'll cop you later, Morgs. You guys are gross. <laughs> Bye. Yes. Hey. <laughs> We're just meant to drop everything and fly to Darwin. It's important to Lauren. I always imagined getting married back home in Darwin. What are we talking? Are we talking tribal dance? Did we do? Face paint? Mum. Mum. <laughs> Dad? Hello. What's Seth thing? Say hello to your grandfather. Grandpa. Grumpy Gramps? What's going on? Where's Mum? I just woke up and she was gone. You didn't think to tell me all this? I thought maybe she'd be back by now. <sighs> I've always been able to see it. Both my parents walking me down the aisle. I can't get married if my mum isn't here. So we're going to go and find her. I need you to plan the wedding. Hey? If we find Mum, you're off the hook. But I don't even know where to start. Do you know where she went? What? Ouais. To Catherine? To Catherine? Une minute. Mm -hmm. Quit here bashing me, love. Yeah, she caught a knee dragon to Catherine. Now back her off. Au revoir! I need to find my Mum. When you're hurting, where do you go looking? Back home. Mum's from the Tiwi Islands, but I've never gone to Tiwi. How about we just go up there? Look at where I am because of you. I'm in the top end of the country. It's your place. Time to take it to the family now. Hold on to your munchies because it's about to get crunchy. Weddings change people. Not just the bride and groom. Make this wedding romantic and you'll get Arnie back. Marriage is a journey. And what better place to start that journey than right here? Our home. He's two hours late. Anyone got any jokes? 